Key Collector Comics is a free mobile app focused exclusively on helping you identify key issues. Hey everybody, it's Nick here with Key Collector Comics, and I was trying to figure out the perfect place to begin, and I thought, well, I'll give you an inside look at what the experience was like when I pulled this out of a dollar bin. So I'm letting you know, of course, it can happen. Yes, yes, you know that feeling, right? That feeling when you find something at first, your heart skips a little bit, and you think to yourself, that's it. No, it's not. At the same time, you know. But then if you look and you see right here, and it's that old crow bottle of beer. And that old crow bottle of beer is what got this issue recalled because the DC editorial staff thought that this was uncharacteristic of Clark Kent, Superman, to be drinking a beer. And it's like, well, yeah, it's, uh, well, but can he, he could have one, right? I mean, just because he has one doesn't mean he's a drunk, uncharacteristic. He's having a drink with his dad. It's not like he's getting hammered with Guy Gardner. But they recalled it, and this is what you look for. You look for the uh, Old Crow bottle of beer, the darker label, because when they reissued this cover... They reissued it as Soda Pop, just to really make Superman as lame as possible. Recent eBay sales as of September 2018, as you can see on the bottom, the Soda Pop label gets a buck, and then the uh, Old Crow label, not graded, goes for over 100 and the graded version goes for $275 at a 9.8. Pretty impressive. Next, we have DC Elseworlds 80 Page Giant. It's from 1999. And because of this story, Letitia Lerner, Superman's babysitter, the whole thing got scrapped because of this panel right here, where Superman as a baby finds his way into the microwave and he gets zapped. But he's fine. He's fine. He's Superman. You know, this, this babysitter is a complete failure. The story's actually pretty cute. It won a Harvey Award, which is the funny thing. It won Best Short Story, and nobody could read it because they destroyed almost all of the copies. The only copies that survived were, uh, there were about a thousand that were distributed to Europe. And th those are the ones that we see pop up on eBay. As you could see, sell well with the ungraded going for 85 and the graded going for 380 at a 9.6. And these values have gone down because since then, uh, a couple years after the story was, was recalled, they reprinted it in, uh, in a collection called Bizarro Stories. The next issue is Electra number three from the 2001 series, and it's very scandalous. It was recalled because of this nudity. As you can see here, on the left is the nudity, on the right is the reissue. So, I mean, somebody went in, they drew a bra strap where they were supposed to be. You really can't see anything in the recalled issue. I mean, I've seen more nipple in that 80-page Elseworlds giant when Superman is getting a drink of milk. Okay, so, but, but it is uh, slowly going up in value because people are starting to become aware of it. You can't, here, here are the, the values right now, but you really can't discern one from the other unless you actually look in the book and see if those pages have uh, the panels that I showed you without the black straps for the bra and the underwear. Okay, moving on, we have Spider-Man Rain. This story, if you're not aware of it, is crazy. It's a just, it's about... Spider-Man is an old man, and in one of the scenes, he's dreaming about Mary Jane, and she had passed away because he had unknowingly given her cancer because his radiated body had produced... It's a bizarre story, and in it, you could see Peter Parker's web shooter, which I'm going to save you from, but if you want to see, I'm going to show it. So that's your warning. Here it is, nothing to spin any tales about, but here is how it has been reprinted. Haley the Hooters Girl. Okay, this was probably a good thing for the world and for the reputation of comics that this got recalled because um, it's about Haley and she's a Hooters girl and she's actually based on a real Hooters girl. And she gets into uh, an accident uh, with a raw sewage truck while they're delivering some wings. I didn't know they delivered. And 
she gains these superpowers and she finds out she has these superpowers because when they spray her down with the fire hose, she is unaffected by the pressure of the blast. And then she goes, she has a nutcracker and that's what she uses to uh, fight crime. So it's just stupid. Uh, Cabbage Comics is the publisher. They didn't get permission by Hooters Corporate. They got permission from the guy in Florida who owns a, a Hooters restaurant, but not Hooters Corporate. So there was a lawsuit. And this guy, who knows? He was probably, like, this was probably his way, his last ditch effort of asking out a Hooters girl on a date, you know? I mean, it was like a six issue series that only saw one issue. So maybe at the end, it was like this big proposal. But it never happened, uh, it was recalled. Or dare I say recalled, because it's an equally bad pun for an equally bad premise. But on eBay, it, on average, gets about $30. So there you have it. There's also a gold foil variant. I think it goes for about the same. And there's one that's signed by the inspiration for Haley. I forgot her name, but it supposedly goes for a little bit more. Next, we have All-Star Batman and Robin number 10. And this is where we see Batgirl is more like Bat Broad because she's just cussing like crazy. She just lies. She's, you know, every other word. And it was supposed to be blacked out, but something happened in the ink process. I think it was called marketing, where you could still see the cuss words. And here's the variant by Frank Quitelli, which suffers from the same printing issue. The sales, they're not astronomical. You would think that it would be more, but it's, uh, it's a fun issue to add to this list. Next, we have Green Lantern number one from the New 52 series. And here is a printing error. As you can see, this teardrop sort of circlet, uh, this was the cause of the recall. Uh, understandably, because it was their launching book on this new series and this entire new uh, storyline. Oh, and who knows? Maybe it wasn't a mistake. Maybe that was Sinestro. Maybe he was like, hey, bro, you know, that's the style out here in Sector 1417. And DC was probably like, you know what? We do whatever you want on your free time, wear whatever you want. When you come to work, we want jet black hair receding. Okay? Sinestro. And on the secondary market, it doesn't go much in its raw form, but if you get it graded at a 9.8, it sells for about $100. Next, we have League of Extraordinary Gentlemen number five. And as you could see by what's circled in red, DC was afraid that Marvel would see this and go, oh, no, no. All right, we're suing you guys. But... Um, it turns out this is an actual product. I was doing some research, and there's a newspaper back in the 1900s, the Anaconda Standard out of uh, Montana, that would run uh, uh, this ad for a feminine hygiene product, a douche. And I'm sure Alan Moore got really offended by it when DC called him. They're like, look, you know, that was cute with the whole Marvel, the ad, but we, we got to pull it. We can't. We're not going to get into a lawsuit for this. And he was probably like, well, well what are you? I would never. That is a real product, okay? I know everybody thinks that I'm a, a madman, but it's a gimmick, okay? It's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to say some stuff. I'm going to do some stuff. I'm a crazy artist. Look at me, but it's a gimmick. Anyway, uh, the last recorded sale for this issue was in uh, 2017, June, for $900. And before that, it was for $500 uh, consistently. So this book seems to be really going up in value because of its scarcity. But you know old Alan Moore, he, he got the last word. In top 10, number 9, a few months later, in that headline there, it says, Miracle Douche Recall. Bravo, Alan. Bravo. Wolverine, number 131. There's a racial slur, and I'm not going to reveal it. It's an anti-Semitic racial slur. Here uh, is what it should have said, killer, and... <laughs> You know, the, the, the letter said, well, those, the, the L's were close together. It looked like that racial slur, and I, it wasn't. And it's like, dude, come on. You did it on purpose. I'm just kidding. I don't know if he did it on purpose. You can tell the difference between the recalled and the reissued comic by the one, as indicated in the box with the green circle. That is the recalled version. 
and the two is the reissued one. So if you want to collect the recalled comics, you look for the, the one. You could get them for a couple bucks on eBay. A lot of these made it to the market. Finally, we have a Universe X special, Spidey, and I. who knows how whoever noticed this. I mean, look at the bookcase in the back. That's what they, they noticed this message by Al Milgram, who's been around forever, and the message was to Bob Harris, who was the exiting editor-in-chief at Marvel, and Al, Al really stuck it to him. Let's take a look. Harris, ha ha, he's gone. Good riddance to bad rubbish. He was a nasty SOB. And this here's a lesson to all of us, to not get on the bad side of somebody who has a razor sharp tongue and can really dice you up like that. Because I'll tell you what, if somebody starts off with ha ha and then calls you rubbish, which, you know, Al Milgram's from Detroit. Let's just say he really doesn't have the permission to use the word rubbish. That word belongs to the Brits. SOB? Go ahead. You were born in the 50s. You could use that all day long. So Al got fired. This is true. And he got rehired shortly thereafter. Marvel did a recall, and this is what it looks like now without Al's commentary. This particular issue sells i mean it's a little difficult to say it's got a, between 100 and 150 dollars raw and um some of these variants here the variant the sketch especially since they're so limited go for uh quite a bit more that's it if you hung on for this long thank you please subscribe if you haven't please download the app if you haven't on the app these issues will be in a category on the front page called recalled comics with others that you have not seen yet that I didn't have time to cover on this video. So go check it out. And there are some buy links below if you'd like to uh, see what the values are right now for, for what we discussed. And it'll link you right to eBay. Or like I said, go on Key Collector Comics. And thanks for watching.